everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Urge Artifacts. Today we will be taking a look at the recently released Art of the Horus Heresy book. Now this was a limited edition, there was 6,000 copies sold, but we'll do a quick look through of the book so you can see kind of like the format and some of my thoughts about it. But what we're also going to do is my top 10 pieces of cover art from the entire Horus Heresy. Um, I went through all of it and I picked a top 10, which was really hard to do. So we'll go through those, I'll give you my thoughts, and that will be the video. So let's take a look. All right, let's do a very quick overview of the book. Um, obviously you have the nice cover right here with Sanguinius featured, a couple other of the previous covers kind of grayed out in the background. Now this book is, it's like a coffee table book. It's really nice for just browsing through and taking a look at the artwork, but on the inside there are a lot of nice insights. It's very simple. There's four sections of the book. There is a lot of pages in this. There's uh, close to 300 pages. I'd suggest reading the introductions. They're, they're very cool. Um, I love the insights of Neil Roberts. And then you get into it and basically the format is there will be the pieces of artwork and then not after every one but after many of them there'll be a little overview of Neil Roberts' thoughts and then a case study from the Black Library team about how that piece of artwork came to be. And that's pretty much the format all the way through. And then when you get toward the end, you have the final portion focusing just on the Siege of Terra. And in the Siege of Terra um, section, they do do a case study on each piece of artwork. All right, and there's the Solar War. So this is like a beautiful book in general. The only issue I have with it is that I feel like they should have did like a flat page right here because in some pieces of art, um, you know, crucial portions get missed in the spine. Um, but aside from that, um, it's really, really nice overall. But now let's get into what are my top 10 pieces from this entire collection. All right, we're gonna start it off with an honorable mention with the very first book in the Horus Heresy, Horus Rising. I had to give this a shout out. Though this isn't my most favorite piece of art, it really encaptures the, the grim dark, kind of like 80s metal style of the Horus Heresy. Just a bunch of dudes sieging a castle. Uh, it's awesome, so we got Horus Heresy in here with Honorable Mention 1. From there, we're going into Honorable Mention number 2, and I promise we'll get to the top 10 after that. And what we have here is from the cover of Echoes of the Imperium, and it features Sanguinius just chilling out in Imperium Segundus. He's got the ultimate man spread here. I love how he's holding the sword, the fist on the chin, and it's just a badass photo that's really detailed and well done. Up next at number 10, you have the cover art from Fear to Tread, the Blood Angels first focus book and featuring a iconic duel between Cabanda and Sanguinius. You have the spire of skulls in the background, you have the feathers and the flames falling through the air as these two duelists battle for the first time in the Horus Heresy. Really, really love this cover art. Very detailed, very exciting. All right, at number nine, we have the cover from The Unremembered Empire. I chose this one because there's so much going on in it. You have the contrast between Guleman's adulation and the hesitance of Sanguinius as he's getting raised as the new emperor. You have the differences between all the space marines in the background, some cheering from the blood angels, others reserved or pissed from the white scars and the, and the space wolves. Um, a really cool cover art that just had a lot going on, so I had to get it in here. At number eight, we have Fulgrim, the fifth book in the Horus Heresy, and the iconic 
picture of Isvan 5 with Ferris Manus versus Fulgrim up on the hill. I love how this pic picture is almost like a painting. It's a little bit uh, faded. You have the glint of the Larian sword from Fulgrim as him and Ferris do their duel. You have the kind of funny Ferris Manus wielding a wrench, which we know wasn't accurate, but we all laugh about it anyway. Obviously a key moment in the Horus Heresy and number eight on my list. Now up next is the cover of Vulcan Lives, a much more simple cover, not a lot going on, just Vulcan in his anguish and the in the aftermath of Istvan V, holding one of his sons. I really love like the pain and the raising of the hammer and then like the light beam that's coming down on him uh, in a midst of just black and clouds and despair. Really great cover art at number seven. At number six, we have the feature picture from the art book itself. The Lost in the Dam, the second book in the Siege of Terra. This is just a great picture of defiance. You have the guardsmen holding the line at their worst moment, and then you have Sanguinius come down to stand with them and inspire them along with the Blood Angels. Just an iconic picture of Sanguinius and really great in the Siege of Terra. I love this picture. At number five, we have the Eye of Terra Anthology, and this picture of the Emperor and Horus fighting side by side comes from the short story, The Wolf of Ash and Fire. Excellent pre-heresy story, um, but it's so great. Besides like the colors and everything like that, it, you know, we obviously will have these two never again in this kind of picture moving forward, so I just feel like this is a very powerful image of what was and what could have been. At number four we have No No Fear and the ultimate badass picture right here with Gulliman in the void on the side of the ship just knocking heads off ward bearers. Um, I remember loving this book and remembering the scene from the book and the cover is just sick. I had to put this on. It's one of my favorite, most iconic pictures of the Horus Heresy. And here it is at number four in all its glory. Now into the top three, we have another picture of Horus and the Emperor. And this is actually from their final duel. And the cover art of the Visions of Heresy updated book. You have Sanguinius dead with his blood in the background. The space void going on. This is actually my favorite picture of the two of these battling it out. I love the imagery of the Emperor's lightning and flame going against Horus's darkness and just how they both look. Um, really love this cover and had to be in my top three. At number two, we have, a, I know this is a fan favorite, but from Echoes of Eternity, we have Sanguinius defending the Eternity Date awesome picture you could see how weathered and beaten he is and once again defiance with this horde of sons of horus and traitors coming in he's making his last stand here if you read the books you know the battles he's went through up until this point just a phenomenal shot of him just holding the last gate of the imperium and the palace and at number one, we have the master of mankind himself. I am a loyal son to the Emperor, so when this book came out, which is also one of my top Horus Heresy books, I just was so excited. You have the Emperor in the webway, you have his custodians and silent sisters, and um, if you've read the book, you know how iconic of a moment this is when he shows up after leaving the Golden Throne for a short period of time. Just love the colors, love his depiction, love this one in general. And of all the covers and pieces of art of the Horus Heresy, this was my number one for the series of books. Alright everybody, thank you for watching my top 10 covers of the Horus Heresy. I hope you enjoyed the preview of the book. 
and feel free to add your comments. What are your favorite pieces of art of the Horus Heresy or covers? Obviously, there's a lot of pieces of art aside from this, but what would your top 10 be? Otherwise, stay tuned for upcoming videos. Keep on collecting, keep on having fun, and have a great day. Thank you.